welcome to our YouTube channel. We thank you for the just uh, giving us or visiting our YouTube channel and taking time to watch our video. We thank you for that. If it's uh, your first time to come to our channel, please we need you to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get notified when we post a new video. We mostly post new videos on a daily basis, so please take time to visit our YouTube channel and see what you can do with this. Okay, we are saying adding improper fractions. Okay, so in the previous videos, we looked at adding uh, fractions with the uh, same denominators and different denominators. In today's video, we are going to learn how to add improper fractions. Whether it has got to, uh, they have got the same denominators or different denominators. So, that being said, let's get started. Okay, so I'm going to say example. Okay, then I'm going to say work out. Work out. Okay, so number one, we are saying uh, seven over five plus three over five. Okay, okay, let me say four. Okay, four over five. Okay, so uh, 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 let me say six. Okay, six. Let me see that. We are looking at adding a proper fraction. And a proper fraction is a fraction where the bigger number is numerator and the denominator is smaller than the numerator. So uh, when I wrote to three over five, that was it. Which became proper fraction, which is not the, uh, the case here. The case here is we are trying to add, we are trying to add improper fractions. Okay, so now let's get started. So, what we are going to do, the same principle we are doing when we add those fractions, since the denominators are the same, we are going to use the same denominator 5. And then we're going to say 7 plus 6, let me say equal, we're going to say equal to, then what we're going to do, we're going to divide 9 here and write 5 here, and then we're going to say 7 plus 6, that is 13, okay, that is 13. So now we have added the improper fraction. So now give a, an answer. If they have told you to give an answer, which is an improper fraction, you leave it here. But if there are no instructions on uh, the form of answer you should give, you continue. You go a step ahead for making the improper fraction into mixed fraction. Okay? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to say 5 into 13 is goes twice, that is 2, remainder 3 over 5. Okay, remainder 3. Over five. So this is the answer. Remember, I said, remember, I said, uh, if they, uh, they, they didn't say anything about the form or the form, you can't fraction, you should give your answer in. If it's just quiet, you simplify up to this stage. But if they say give your answer in improper fraction, then they, you can end up with it. Okay? So I'm sure you are very confident that they have to complete this. There is a video which we have produced where we are teaching how to convert um, improper fraction into mixed in fraction. Okay? Alright. Now let's, let's go into the second example. The second example we have um, 11 over 6 plus 8 over 5. Okay, so what we need to do is now let's find the lowest common denominator. Okay, the lowest common denominator is the number where 6 and 5 can go into without leaving a remainder. Okay, so we can say 
Six can go into six, but five cannot go into six. Six can go into this into six without it being a pain, but five cannot into a pain. Five can go into five without it being a pain, but six cannot go into five and give us the answer to the whole number. But if you go into five and give us the answer to the whole number, that's what we don't want. We want to get an answer which is the whole number. So what are we going to do? We are going to find a number where these two numbers can go into. So we say six can six can go into six without being a failure, but five can't. Six can go into four without giving a failure, but five can't. Six can go into eighteen without giving a failure, but five can't. Six can go into twenty-four without giving a failure, but five can't. Six can go into thirty without giving a failure. And five can go into eight without giving a failure. So we are going to have the most common denominator, which is eight. Okay? Which is eight. Then we are going to say, open brackets, then we are going to say, how many times can six go into eight? We are saying five times, times eleven, which is the numerator. Okay, then we close the bracket, then we cut it to a sign here. And then we say, how many times can five go into 30? We open brackets, can go six times. So we're going to say six times eight. Okay, six times eight equals two. Okay, then we close the bracket this way. So six times eight, close the bracket. Then we are going to write there, then we say 30. Then we are going to say 5 times 11, that is 55, plus 6 times 8, that is 48. Okay? Then we are going to say equal to, then we have the 30 here. Okay? Over here. Then we are going to say 48, 55 plus 48, that is E. 103, okay? Then we are going to say, how many times can that go in 103? It can go three times, remainder 13 over 8. Okay? There is no number that can go into 3, sorry, into 13 and 8. There is no number that can go into 13 and 8. So therefore, we cannot simplify this fraction. So the answer will be 3, 13 over 8. So adding 11 over 6 plus 8 over 5 will give us an answer which is 3, 13 over 8. Okay, so basically this is how we can add a proper fraction. There is no much difference with the, uh, the other uh, fraction. I think the other fractions, there is a lot of similarities. So if you are not clear, you are not clear on the way of them. Excuse me, you are not clear on the way of them. We need you to go into this, uh, the, the credits, which is fractions on our YouTube channel and then watch the, the videos we have posted. We have posted the videos on addition uh, of the fractions. So check out that video where uh, it is led with adding uh, fractions with uh, different denominators. And there is also another video which is entitled adding additional fraction with the uh, same denominator. Okay? So we are saying so the following. Okay. Okay, number one, we are saying eight over three plus five over three. Okay. 
plus 5 over 3. Okay? Or maybe I say 5 over 3. It's okay. 5 over 3. Maybe uh, 5 over 3. Maybe J. Let me just continue with this and keep flow. Okay? So here it's 8 over 4. 8 over 4 plus 5 over 4. Okay? 8 over 4 plus 5 over 4. Okay, so work out these uh, two questions. I want to see answers in the comment section. Let's get interactive. Thank you so much for watching and God bless you.